they wear their hair kinky, and it's going to stay kinky, you know. So, you know, I hope people can get over that and let's embrace their education, which is most important. Rhonda Mathis told Butler's site-based council Thursday it shouldn't matter how students like her grandson Michael wear their hair. But because of the school he attends, styles like twists, cornrows, and dreadlocks were banned. Last week, Representative-elect Attica Scott, whose daughter attends Butler, challenged the policy. It says that we have so much further to go with our public school system and as a community that we would even uh, think twice about a policy like this. One day later, the school suspended its policy. Later, Principal William Allen found 72 percent of those surveyed online, including parents, teachers and students, supported an amended policy. Hair must be well-groomed, well-kept and at a reasonable length. In fact, on Thursday, the council, including Sharice Baldwin Trainham, voted unanimously to adopt the new policy, which would allow for a majority of hairstyles so long as they're neatly maintained. Still, she thinks it was all blown out of proportion. So too does daughter Alexandra, a 10th grader. I didn't see it as a racial thing. It was like racial to people because like the braids and twists are like mainly the black hairstyles, but then like in my eyes, it just was just like, they just said braids and twists, so don't wear braids and twists. Rhonda Mathis did think it was racial, and that's why she's glad the policy has been changed. I hope this is a closed subject and we can go back to the business of educating our students. And back here live tonight, Rick Vicky. Students are set to return here to Butler next Wednesday for the first day of school. Now, if you at home have a student at Butler, there are some things to remember. Only female students can wear headbands. No one can wear a bandana, and all students must have natural colored hair. I'm told that means no bright colors like pinks or purples or blues. That is the very latest night from Butler High School. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Thank you.